You're watching Maze Plays, and today we're going to be discussing my thoughts on why the Star Wars sequel trilogy is so bad, The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens is basically a repeat of A New Hope. Our hero is on the same planet, curious about the outside world, until a droid shows up with important data that the Rebellion needs. Then the enemy shows up to find the droid, and our heroes must escape said sand planet. The directors and writers had no plot, no sense of direction for the plot. They did one film at a time instead of making one whole vision. They couldn't decide if they wanted to make an original story or a nostalgic fan service film. So doing so, they made poor new characters and ruined and killed off the ones that we loved. Making Rey defeat Kylo in their first fight. Makes no sense. Kylo has trained his whole life in lightsaber and force abilities, and Rey picks up her lightsaber once and beats Kylo Ren? That takes all intimidation and villainy away from Kylo Ren. Luke had watched Darth Vader kill off his mentor, Obi-Wan, and slice off his arm in their first fight. And then finally, in the third installment of the original trilogy, Luke finally defeat his father. A minor issue that I had was Kylo shouldn't have taken his helmet off so early in the movie in front of Rey. They should have definitely saved that for the end with um, Han Solo before he killed him. That would have made the scene so much more impactful. But overall, The Force Awakens isn't bad. It had cool fights and the music was amazing. The scenes, beautiful choreography. And um, yeah, overall 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Next up we have The Last Jedi. Oh, The Last Jedi was so bad. Walking out of the movie theater, I thought, you know, that's a good movie. And I just get home and stay up all night just thinking about how terrible this is. Mark Hamill hates what they did to his character. And he tried to tell this to Ryan Johnson. Okay, there is a problem if the main actor of your franchise hates what you're doing. You need to strongly reconsider what you're doing if Mark Hamill hates what's going on. Um, Holdo could have just told Poe the plan instead of them arguing the whole time. That sounds like a simple solution. But the light speed crash was cool. I also didn't mind them killing off Snoke so soon. It was a cool twist and showed that Kylo still had hope of the light side. And their team up between Rey and Kylo was cool. But then it amounted to nothing, so it was just lame. Um, Finn and Rose going to the casino planet place... And instead of freeing the children's slaves, they wanted to free the camel horses when she was like, yeah, now it's worth it when she took off the saddle. I was like, oh my god, this is such a waste of time. And then Finn was trying to sacrifice himself to save the rebellion and Rose crashes in, almost killing both of them. And then they kiss. That was just, what? Um, yeah, we wanted to see a Luke in a real lightsaber fight using his green lightsaber. That would have been so cool, but instead we got the force projection across the galaxy, which showed how strong he was with the force, so that was cool, but we wanted a real, real fight with Luke just kicking ass. All right. Despite all that Darth Vader has done, Luke still saw light in his father, but when his nephew is having dreams and thought about the dark side, Luke tries to kill him in his sleep. That is against Luke's character, totally. Luke would have tried his best to sway him away from the dark side. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at my notes and I'm just flabbergasted. The flying through space? Killing Leia would have set the tone of the movie. But nope! The Force lets you survive in space without a suit and just fly around. Oh my goodness. Yeah, th terrible movie. 2 out of 10. The Rise of Skywalker. Force healing? What? Don't just make up stuff about the Force, which ruins every other movie if our heroes could have just Force healed everyone. Anakin could have saved Padme. Yoda could have just walked around the Jedi Temple healing everybody. Luke, Luke could have saved his father. Know the difference between a Jedi and God. Okay? Bringing back Palpatine ruins Anakin's sacrifice. It completely ruins his character arc. Um, Anakin was the chosen one, and he finally came back to the light side and killed Palpatine, but nope, since the characters, not characters, writers and directors had no sense of plot, they just, oh, let's just bring back Palpatine, Poe was like, 
somehow Palpatine has returned. Ugh, it's just a waste of time. Just a waste of time. The Knights of Rin? Where have they been all this time? They were so useless. I thought they were Force users. They just had, like, sticks and axes. What, what, what was the point? We thought we were going to get an amazing lightsaber fight with the Duel of Fates blaring in our eardrums, but instead we just got Finn yelling, Ray! Over and over again. Yeah, they just need to let Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have full control of Star Wars. Mandalorian and Clone Wars are just... They're just... Freaking home run hitters. Never ever let Ryan Johnson work on any project ever again. And fire Kathleen Kennedy. Okay, a 12 year old could have made a better story. Yeah, but um, Rise of Skywalker. 4 out of 10 is what I'm going to rate it. It was just... Just stupid. I mean... The choreography and scenes, I mean, it looks beautiful. The music is amazing. And a few battles here and there throughout the trilogy are good, but we don't get, like, a true Rebels versus Stormtroopers fight or anything. Ugh, it's just bad. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.